Right. Uh, welcome once again. Today we are going to look at uh, frequency poly polygons. Frequency polygons. So we want to see how do we draw a frequency polygon. But we are starting with uh, ungrouped data. Ungrouped data. Then we look at uh, grouped data, right? So, uh, for ungrouped data, let's take, uh, for example, uh, let's say we are given, construct a frequency example. Uh, construct a frequency polygon for the data uh, below. Construct... A frequency polygon for the data given below. A frequency uh, polygon for the data given uh, below. Right, uh, the data is given is. We have edge as a uh, max, then zero, one up to five, two, three, four, and uh, five. Then here we have number of candidates for a frequency. Number of candidates. Uh, here we have three, four, seven, five, ten, and eleven. So we want to construct a frequency polygon from the given data. So uh, given this information, we just plot the points, then we construct a frequency polygon, right? Unlike grouped data, where we have to calculate uh, what we call frequency density. So with this information, we can construct a frequency polygon uh, we can see that here we have our least value is 3, then most uh, greatest value is 11. So we can either use uh, our scale, or we can use 2, 4, 6, up to 12. Then here we have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We can just use 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 here. Yeah. So in this case, uh, we have max here with 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Uh, we have max, right? Then uh, here we have, let's use 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and 12, since the maximum value is 11. Uh, this is our frequency or number of candidates, uh, number of candidates, that's our frequency, right? So now we have to plot these points, we have 0 and 3, 0 and 3 we just put a star, then we have 1 and 4, we are going to put a star again here, then 2 and 7, 2 and 7, between 8 and 6, here again, then 3 and 5, 3 and 5, between 6 and 4, 4 and 10, 4 and 10, here, then 5 and 11, just above 10, right now, we can use a ruler, 
to combine these uh, points, we can use a ruler. Uh, let's say here we join this point and this point. Uh, then we join this point and this point. Then we join this point and this point. Then we join these points. Then again, we join uh, the last point. So uh, this is our frequency uh, polygon. Right. So this is how we plot a frequency polygon from ungrouped data. Now let's uh, look at uh, frequency polygon from grouped data. Frequency polygon from uh, grouped data. At uh, group the data, at example again, Let's uh, look at this question. We have edge against frequency. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Right, so here we have edge. I can say it X. Then we have frequency. Now we have 4,5 to 6,5. 4,5 to 6,5. Then 6,5 to uh, 9,5. Then we have 9,5 to 15,5. Then we also have 15,5 to 25,5. Then we also have 25,5 to 40,5. Right. Uh, now we move on to frequencies. We have 8, 6, uh, 18, 10, and 30. Right. So to construct a frequency polygon uh, from group D data, we have to construct a histogram first, right? So to construct that histogram, we must have uh, edge against the frequency density. So uh, here, construct a frequency polygon. That's the question. All right, uh, solution. We have to come up with a table here. Right. We have edge, uh, that's X. Then we also have frequencies. Then now we want to find our class width. 
then we find our frequency density right so we have frequency uh, class width uh, frequency density right frequency density is given by uh, is given by frequency uh, divided by class width right that's the formula for frequency density right here we are given 4,5 to 6,5 Four comma five to six comma five, six comma five to nine comma five, to nine comma five. Then we have nine comma five to fifteen comma five, nine comma five to fifteen comma five. Then we also have twenty five comma five, fifteen comma five to twenty five comma five. Then we have twenty five comma five to forty comma five. Right, then for 4,5 to 6,5, we have frequency of 8, 6, here 18, uh, 10, and 30. Now, class width, we are taking upper class limit minus lower class li limit. Uh, class width is given by upper class li limit, class width is given by upper class limit minus lower class limit that's the formula for our class with here we have 6,5 minus 4,5 6,5 minus 4,5 we have 2 then 9,5 minus 6,5 which is 3 then also 15,5 minus 9,5. Uh, you can use your calculator to be sure. 15,5 uh, minus 9,5. Uh, that's 6. Then we have 25,5 minus 15,5, which is uh, 10. Then 40,5 minus 25,5. Minus 25,5. Five, that's uh, 15 right now we want to find uh, the frequency density we are going to divide frequency divided by class width frequency divided by class width here we get uh, 4 6 divided by 3 we get 2 18 divided by 6 we get 3 10 divided by 10 we get 1 uh, then 30 divided by 15 we get 2 now we are going to construct a histogram uh, plotting edge against frequency density, right? We are going to plot a histogram using edge and uh, frequency density only. So, because of space, let me write uh, edge and frequency density here. Our edge and frequency density that I'm going to use to plot a histogram. So, we have edge uh, x against frequency density right for edge we have 4,5 to 6,5 4,5 to 6,5, uh, 6,5, 6,5 to 9,5, uh, 9,5 to 15,5, then 15,5 to 25, 25,5, 25,5 to 40,5, right? Uh, here we have frequency density 4, 3, 4, 2, 3, 4, 2, 3, 
one and uh, two. So now we want to use this information to plot a histogram, right? Remember, our question wants to construct a frequency polygon, but we can't construct a frequency polygon uh, from grouped data without a histogram. Now, a uh, histogram. Uh, we are going to plot a histogram, but remember, here we are starting from 4,5. We are not starting from 0. So we use this one, which is 4, uh, 5. Then uh, here we are going to use 0, 1, 2, up to 5. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then here we have 4, 5, uh, 6, 5. Then from 6,5, 9, 9,5, uh, 9, we have 15,5. Remember that you can use accurate scale 4,5 or we can use uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. But uh, uh, we can also use this, but remember the spaces are different. So here we have 15,5 and 25. Then we also have 4,5. Now, right now we are saying from 4,5 to 6,5 we want 4 units. Then 9,5 to 15,5 3 units. Then 15,5 to 20.5, 25.5, uh, 1 unit. Then 25.5 to 40.5, 2 units. You use your ruler to construct these bars. Right now, when you have your histogram now we want to plot a frequency polygon we want to plot a frequency uh, polygon now we mark uh, the midpoints midpoint here midpoint uh, midpoint midpoint and midpoint then we use those midpoints to construct a frequency polygon like this we can draw a straight line here, then another straight line here, joining the midpoints, joining the midpoints, then we join the last point. So this one is our frequency, our polygon. So this is the working for constructing a frequency polygon from grouped data. Right. So that's how we construct a frequency polygon from grouped data. So try to find as many questions as you can and try to attempt them. Thank you for watching this video. See you in our next lesson. Shalom.